Hi ladies and gentlemen, Lesejo Holani here. Today I actually want to talk about something that is quite touchy. Touchy, touchy, touchy. And it exists in every single community, from the black community to the white community, you know, to the Indian community. It just, because it's a human emotion, it exists in every spectrum of our lives, in fact. I basically want to talk about jealousy and envy jealousy and envy guys and how i want to tackle it let's talk about number one what causes jealousy and, and envy in the first place number two how do we deal with jealousy and envy from both angles from the angle where we become jealous and envious of somebody else and from the angle where we become aware or we start recognizing that somebody is jealous of us or is envious of the life that we may have so what causes jealousy and envy basically from my experience i'd say the number one cause of jealousy and envy is you know the fact that you do not have what the other person has and so you long for that you try to get there but are unable to get there at that specific time because remember with us traveling different journeys we all want to reach the finish line first or at least be on par with our peers so that's a very big challenge in life because that's not how life works you know we all run our own race i think we've heard that from a dozen and one uh, motivational speakers or from a dozen and one speakers in total we all run our own race and therefore it becomes critical for us to not focus on you know what the other person is doing and rather to focus on your journey remember when i touched on a video about your vision board i didn't even once allude to the fact that you should look at your neighbor's vision board i didn't even once speak about the goals and objectives of your neighbor what i did speak about is at least having people that you aspire to be like or at least achieve some of the things that they have achieved so that's a totally different story as compared to actually uh wanting to be that particular person because what that does it stifles your own mind if you're going to focus on what the next person has, it means that you will not be able to focus on your end goal. That same goal that you set, you will not be able to see the opportunities that are right in front of your eyes that allow you to actually achieve that particular goal. And that's quite critical, you know, and that therefore, you know, jealousy and envy are not good emotions. If you've watched the documentary that speaks to the secret, you'll actually realize that they talk about good emotions and negative emotions and how negative emotions because they take your focus away from the end goal they actually are detrimental to your direction and your future versus positive emotions that actually allow you to focus on the results but also to enjoy the journey while you are on it so jealousy in and of itself is a negative emotion jealousy in and of itself is an emotion that we shouldn't even entertain but the truth is we are human all right we are human and what another cause of jealousy is growth of the people around you you know when people around you actually grow be it financially they grow in the sense of um they get opportunities they grow in the sense that they move away from your hometown and you are still stuck in your hometown right you know they grow in the sense of they get married and you still single, you know, and you've been longing for marriage, or they have kids, you have no kids, or, you know, for all the people like your adults, our parents, the jealousy comes when other kids, you know, um, achieve more than their own children. And that creates a multitude of jealousy. But now here's why jealousy is really bad. Jealousy can make you lose perspective. Jealousy can cause you to actually focus so much on it that you are willing to hurt the next person. Jealousy can make you focus so much on it that you see no value in what the next person brings. And that, my friends, that, my friends, is a really bad thing. Now, how do we recognize jealousy?
How do we recognize envy? It's actually difficult at times because people can hide those negative emotions quite easily when they are around you. But you need to keep your ears open and your eyes wide open because with your ears, you'll hear all the gossip that goes on around you about you. You know, and sometimes you'll hear it years after it has taken place and has continued to take place during that particular period of time. But it will eventually get to your ears. If it doesn't, then you are part of the fortunate few. But gossip is one way of you recognizing that jealousy exists. Secondly, be wide open. If you say that you like this particular car and the people that you hang around with, suddenly they're going to buy a particular car or, or they are one-uppers. They want to be better than you and buy a better car. Be wary because then they're not celebrating your achievement or what you feel is an achievement based on an achievement of your particular goal. You know, if you go and buy a house and then the next thing in a week or so you hear a person that you told and you've never heard them say anything about buying a house because they've literally recently just bought a house and suddenly they want to buy a house because you buying a house that's jealousy keep your eyes wide open and be careful of that particular individual thirdly hang around the right people you know hang around people that are better than you les brown says that if you have 10 broke people in your circle, then you are the 11th one. In fact, he says if you have 9, then you are the 10th one. Because mentality-wise, you're broke, you know? And therefore, it's easy for you to become jealous of people, you know, that are better than you. But if you yourself seek out those people that are better than you, then it means that you are seeking out inspiration to become better yourself. You are not seeking out to be jealous of them because you sought them out. Mentorship, I touched on mentorship. You seek out mentors so that you elevate yourself, right? So the same principle applies even when we speak to issues of keeping the right circle, the right people in your space, people that will motivate you, people that will ignite that spark, people that will f put fuel on that particular engine so that you reach your next level. Not people that will stifle you. That's what jealousy does. And what my grandmother used to say is that the biggest kind of witchcraft that exists is jealousy. Mona, kiboloyo. That's what my grandmother used to say. So hence, it's one of the most detrimental negative emotions one can have. But now, it wouldn't be fair for me to just touch on what jealousy is and how to recognize it without necessarily touching on how do you rid yourself of jealousy or how do you rid yourself of people that are jealous of you. Number one, aim to help people. Aim for people to see the good in you by doing good yourself wholeheartedly. You know, when you do it wholeheartedly and it can show and it reflects, people will appreciate it rather than be jealous of you for it. You know, secondly, if that doesn't work, move away from that circle of friends, move away from the circle of peers so that you can actually get into a space that again ignites your spark, you know, or in fact reignites your spark because that spark is forever in you. So you decide whether it's dormant or not. And then thirdly, the third thing that you can do about jealousy, guys, be in tune with your spiritual being, with your soul. You know, if it means religion in your case, then with your religion, with your belief system, get to know who you are, introspect often and review your own goals, not as a measure of another person's goals. Work towards your own goals. Then you are going places because then you are not driven by jealousy, but driven by the ignorance inside of you. Right. So, yes overcome jealousy i know if you go to google if you go to youtube you'll find other videos that can teach you because they've gone in and researched remember when i do a lot of these videos i'm doing it from a personal experience point of view and therefore it's key for you to actually 
do more research on people who are experts they're psychologists that have mastered the art of controlling your emotions and being in charge of who you are and growing from an emotional intelligence point of view but i think these key fundamentals are key fundamentals that you'll find in their particular research right so yes guys let's go out there let's do our best and let's run our own race, follow our own route, and not focus on the buzz all around us. Congratulate people that do well. Be happy for people that do well. Celebrate their success. And actually, rather ask them, how do they do it? Because And make them aware. Because you'd like to get to a point where you can do that for yourself as well. Don't hide it. Rather actually mention it to them, right? It's actually then much better if you do that. But other than that, guys, uh, have a productive week and be blessed. Peace out.